Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Pavan Bhardwaj. Today I'll be installing a Celestron tube heater ring for my 8 inch edge HD optical tube assembly. The dew heater ring will protect the corrector lens from dew, frost or moisture, humidity. If moisture or dew or frost forms on the corrector lens, it may spoil the entire night of imaging. So this is the main purpose. Before purchasing this dew heater ring, I did some study on online and I saw some YouTube videos. Some people use a dew strap here instead of this dew heater ring. Uh, something like this over here. This also serves the same purpose. Uh, but the problem is that this strap is not in direct contact with the corrector lens. So all of the heat that is produced by this dew strap is not transferred to the lens. In case of dew heater ring, which sits directly on top of the corrector lens. The entire heat generated by the ring is transferred to the corrector lens. So you can say this is 20-25% more efficient than a new heater strap like this. One more reason. Uh, I did some research on the cost factor also. This one was less expensive uh, then uh, few steps like from AstroZap or Kendrick, they are a little more expensive than this. So join me and let's install it. So let's see what we have in this box. Instruction manual, setup guide. Looks like they are very detailed and very simple instructions on installation. explains everything how to install it a cable clip a cable and the actual dew heater ring paper shield to protect the glass from scratches or dust during installation and the actual dew heater ring the bottom part is the actual heater strip and there's a small gasket here there is some space if I don't know if you can see that or not there is some space here Two connectors. Uh, this one is for Celestron dew heater controller and this one is for power input. It takes 12 volt power. So let's install it. All you need to install the dew heater ring is a Phillip head screwdriver and cello tape. So first step is to unlock these RA and deck knobs and move the telescope vertically. After that, don't forget to lock the knobs. First, we remove the dust cap. Place this paper shield on top of the corrector lens. There are six screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. In six inches, eight inches, and nine and quarter inches, uh, there are six screws. In 11 inch and 14 inch SCT and uh, edge eight, there are eight screws. So we remove these screws one by one. Keep a grip on the screw so it doesn't fall. 
on the glass. All screws are removed. Gently remove this. You just have to take it out. Remove the gaskets as well. One part of the gasket and the second part of the gasket. So one important caution here. Make sure you don't touch the glass. Otherwise its position may be disturbed. So this heater side goes down and this side remains up. Notice this notch here. When this aligns with this peg, the tube heater ring will seat itself onto the glass. Press the heater ring on the glass. Make sure uh, the heater ring is under one of these two pegs. Simply rotate it. Here, you have to be careful. When this notch comes in, aligns with the peg, just press it down. And this compliance label, rotate it so that the compliance label is somewhere towards the dovetail. Now this compliance label is somewhere over here near the dovetail you will see the screws and the screw holes they match next we will put the screws back one by one in a crisscross fashion or star fashion don't tighten the screws too much first here and then the opposite screw here Make sure the screw doesn't fall on the glass. Now this one. This one. And then the last one here. So once this is done, we will tighten the screws again in crisscross fashion, in star fashion. Let's try this one first. Tighten this one first, not too much tight. And then across here, this one. Then we come here, next one. Next, in the opposite direction. And then last two here. And the last one. So for now, I'll just insert these two cables right here. So installation is done. We'll take out the paper shield now. Uh, just take a small piece of cello tape. And here you go. This cable is for Celestron dew heatering if you are using it because I'm not using it so I'll just put this back here. This cable is for 12 volt power supply. So I'll install this clip over here.
and this cable goes so when i am not using the telescope i can simply remove the power cable put this connector back here take this out and put my dust cover on just in case we have to use it again just in case something happens to the dew heater ring and we have to remove it we can use that again and of course this paper shield back in the box i'll keep it for now so an assembly is done for celestron dew heater ring so let's see how to connect uh, the dew heater ring to power source 12 volt power insert the cable clamp here this is the power cable so as i said so i'll use this uh, uh, little voltage controller it is from uh, sv boni dew strap i've taken it for now and insert into one of the free ports of my asi air let me show you closely After that, I can turn the power on or off from ASI Air app. So here I am. I try to turn the power to dew heater from ASI Air app. Nothing is connected yet, so it's not showing the camera or anything. So here I am within the ASI Air app. And the first power output port is connected to the dew heater ring here. So from here, I can turn the power on or off. It is off now. So let's turn it on. And you can see the LED. You can see here, I can press the buttons, these buttons to control the voltage middle and high when it is on high full 12 volts from asi air go to the dew shield 